Ooh wee. Yeah, no, you yeah, know, I don't want to say Chop by TV. We love these mountain views. The views. Well, hello, YouTube. What's up on today's episode of Chop by TV? I got my boy Los Adventure Time right here. I mean, on the way to San Homa and Los, what are you doing out there? We'll be visiting the city of San Homa. We're gonna be seeing some beautiful sights, nice restaurants, river, um, hotel complex, and a lot more. Okay, you guys heard that a lot more. We're gonna show you guys about the Dominican Republic that you do not know about. Stay tuned. All right, so San Homa isn't that much of a drive from Santiago. I want to say about maybe 45 minutes, but it depends on the traffic. We did leave around lunchtime, and it did take a little bit longer to get out of Santiago, a little bit longer than I liked, but it's not that far if you know when to leave. That bus stop right there, Parada Sajoma, is very known here. Okay, what do they have here? It's like they sell the cassava thing, I don't know how they call it. Cassava. Cassava, pero de diferente cosa, le ponen ajo, le ponen maní. The cassava right there. Si, venden mucho dulce también. It's like a, like a, like a, like a stop to, to grab some stuff. Okay, so we are in San Jose, right? In that restaurant as well. Mirador, antes, ahora son con un vista, ¿verdad? Right? Ese es uno con vista, pero hay otro que atrás también. ¿Qué es mejor? Eh, mejor? Podemos verlo los dos, si tú quieres. Ah, perfecto. All right, so my first order of business in San Homa, you guys know what catches my attention, the views. Having something to eat or drink with the mountain top views just drives me crazy in the Dominican Republic. Man, this is some, some view. Smells nice too. Everything I gotta come catch some lunch here. Ooh-wee. Yeah, no, yeah, I don't want to say the top about TV. We love these mountain views. The views. So this whole place is new. Vista San Juan. Okay. Vista San Juan. It's a it's like a most you know you gotta go to this stuff. First time in San Juan, and I had no idea the views was just incredible. Uh, now they got a few little houses. to pack you know um, using Los's tour guide services to come out here for the first time definitely worth the trip about a 45 minute drive from where we're at in Santiago man worth the drive okay so when you enter San Homa as Los pointed out the two restaurants on your left there are only two that offer this type of view and in my opinion, the first one we're in right now is my favorite. TV. I got some foodies here on Chop Out TV, man. This food looks crazy good. Got chicharron, got turtle, ribs, chicken. Chicken looking slamming. I don't know what's that, but it's looking slamming as well. Those have you eaten here before? I haven't eaten, but I have drinking here. Okay. Um, 
um, I can't really talk or say much about our food, but it's a great place to come and have a nice fancy little dinner away from the city. As you guys can see, you can admire the site that you can see here. And also, uh, it's gonna take a few shots from the inside of the restaurant. It's very decent, very classy. Very nice. This is uh, this is that this is that type of drive you do when you have somebody more special. Okay, I'm a poco, you know, it's a poco lejos de Santiago, but you know it's nice. It's worth it. A, a must go. This, this is like Santiago version of La Catalina, but a poco más chiquito. That's right. About some of the restaurants, about to head uh, deeper inside the city. But man, how can I explain it? The market put about a little because of the comados, the style of the comados. You know, the outdoors don't really see a lot of these in Santiago. But just something about the air, like the air smells so like relaxing here. But the air is so relaxing here, like it's, I just breathe it in and I just feel good, like I'm here right in nature, right in nature. Both connect with the river, so you can walk, like cross the river with your feet and get in the hotel. Alright, so right behind me is one of the landmarks here in San Homa, Kirk. Um, man, it's just so quiet out here. A lot of stores, there's a Komodo across the street, a barbershop. I'm gonna turn around and get that for you guys. But just look at just look at this setting right here. You got a bridge, there's a water park they're working on right over there that direction. So that's where the music is coming from. But other than that, this is one of the landmarks here in San Homa. This nice church, wooden, got a bell up top. So I just wanted to stop by and show you guys this as we head deeper into town. Man, I'm telling you, there's a lot of natural parts here. You could come kick it one day. Like I said, this is that drive you take, you know, with the boys, with the girl, girls um funny of the ladies watching the channel a lot of beauty out here in san homa a lot of naturaleza curious los heard the music and he <laughs> wanted to come by and see uh you know where the music was coming from okay so it's it it like a little Let's see what Curious Los has stumbled upon. You know, he heard the music, he just had to come. Those are the things that you are able to see in Sahoma. Like so Los basically trying to hijack a school trip. But um, man, this is a nice, it's a nice little private party spot. Now, do not let this spot fool you. Here's the owner, and she's talking about making this into a nice little Sunday gathering spot, restaurant, bar, campfire type stay in San Homa. You guys need to stay tuned for that one. Guys, so finally made it to one of the premier stops here in San Homa that I've been trying to get to all day. Aguas Calientes. If you guys don't know what that means, training for fast English, you're just gonna have to see. So come on, Aguas Calientes this way. Look at that, Los is itching to go 
Today's tour is brought to you by Los Adventure Time. Make sure you guys go check out his channel on YouTube. This tour would have been possible without him, but man. to mention that today we cannot get in um you know what's crazy when i decided to do a video that's when they want to like do maintenance and remodeling places so this is one pool that's open right here really wanted to go inside oh man just to go up so inside but this is one pool that's open right here the views of the water People, what happened, man? Because I can't explain it. So, right now, guys, we are in Aguas Calientes, Sahoma, like a section of the river, very famous. Um, and right now, they only let us, like, they only allow us to come in into the pool area because the other side they are fixing, they are fixing it. They're, uh, como se dice, remodelando, remodeling. So, yeah, guys, that's. If you guys do decide to come back, it's 200 pesos per adult, 125 per children. But uh, man, you get to go up, up, up. There's like different little pools. It's just so beautiful in the pictures. Bummed out. Real bummed out, but let's see what else we can find in San Homa. What you get you get yourself a nice waist high rio some rocks some shade you can come here chill kick it have your cooler right here bomb speaker right here bomb cooler right here bomb this is San Huma. i can imagine how it gets on the weekends probably a little bit more packed more music more festivities going on this is as tranquil as you could get. Um, like I said, not too far from Santiago. Great, great, great Rio. I don't know if Los has anything else, but to me, this is cool. Brought my trunks with me. Don't know if I'm getting in. I left my towel on the car. But I'm, I'm gonna record this a little bit more for you guys, just so you guys can see.
can rent four wheels and you can do a bit of a four wheel excursion in Sahoma. And in Sahoma, there's a lot of bees um, in valley terrains and routes that would definitely be cool in a Polaris or an ATV. Uh, in case that you guys want to come like on a weekend trip or whatever. And uh, here we are. here in San Homa, near Los Adventure Time. And one of the reasons why I use Los because Los got the Jeep uh, to go along with his tour company. Four by fours are for me a uh, necessity to get up here to enjoy some of the better parts of the country. So right now we at Campo Verde. I don't know what's inside, I haven't been here. I don't know what's in store for us, Los has been here. Los gonna let us know what we got going on. Campo Verde is like it's like a family thing to do, like a, a, a place where you should come with your family. And of course, it's always a place to come and go fishing for the ladies. Mm. <laughs> Tell them. <laughs> Now, I am not gonna front. When Los was explaining this place to me, I could not picture it like this. You have this reel where you could go inside, baby, a mini waterfall, a deck with tables, food, music, drinks, and a hotel right behind all of this where you could stay and come down and enjoy for the weekend or night or whatever. Man, this vibe is dope and it was all on a weekday. Imagine the weekend, wow. Pulled out the stop on this one. I mean, can you imagine coming here with a group for a, a set day? Yo, I'm here on a weekday, and this place is potential, 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 potential. Man, look, you, you was hot in this one. You was hot in this one from the viewers, man. What happened? Well, I told you guys, this is the perfect place to come with your family, and for those of you. Single gentlemen, yes, yes, <laughs> come here with your fishing line so you can come fishing. Cause this, this on the left side is a water park, spur in between, and on the right side is a hotel. So that is not an excuse, guys. And man, when you say you could come fishing. <laughs> guys remember the Polarises that we seen early in the video? Well, check this out. Here's 
is the hotel that we mentioned earlier literally right there from that waterfall river natural swimming pool scene that you just seen literally right here on top of the cliff So let's wrap up this beautiful, serene town of San Homa. For those of you looking to get away from the hustle and bustle on a weekend, come out here. Boys trip, girls trip, family, friends, girlfriends, lovers, whoever. Come out here, party with the locals, chill, drink, take a nice swim. Stay tuned for the sunset right after and then head back. This has been Chop Up TV in San Homa and I'll catch you guys on the next episode.